Namaste. Today's focus is hips, stretching our hips. So let's start in a comfortable seat. I hope you have two blocks. If not, you can try books. Bring the soles of your feet together and then open them up like you would pages of a book. I like to take my blocks and kind of put them underneath my knees and just relax my knees onto the blocks. Yogi toe grip. So take your peace fingers, place them on the outside edges of your big toe, thumb on top of your peace finger. Pull your belly in, take a deep breath through your nose, inhale, exhale through your nose, Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. One more deep breath in, exhale through your nose. Good. You can either stay here or try taking your hands facing up, placing them underneath the heels of your feet, and this lifts up your hips a little. Pull your belly in and fold over. Feel your hips stretching, inhaling, exhaling, breath in, breath out. One more deep breath in, and on your exhale, maybe take your blocks to the side of your mat and come onto your hands and knees. So your tops of your feet are on the mat, your fingers are spread wide. Inhale into cat, round your spine, belly in. Exhale, cow. Maybe you look up. Inhale, exhale, look up. One more deep breath in. And on your exhale, just come to a neutral spine. Good. Let's wag our so take your hips right, left, right, and left. And maybe this time take your hips all the way to the right as far as you can get them. Stretch them out. Good. And take them to the left. Good. One more deep breath in. Curl your toes under. Hips high, heels low. Down dog. Pedal your feet right and left. And right and left. Good. One more deep breath in. Look between your hands. Lunge your right foot forward and your left. Fold your head down. Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Hands to your heart, Tadasana. Sun salutation A. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale. Right foot lunges back. Left foot lunges back, high plank. Good. Let's come down to our knees, tops of our feet all the way down to the mat, forehead to the mat. Fingers are mid-chest, squeeze your elbows in. Inhale to just a baby cobra. Exhale down. Inhale. Up dog. If you have room to work, lift your knees and thighs, and here's where you are getting into your hip flexors. So feel that stretch through your hip flexors. Look up and then roll or step over your toes. Down dog. Good. Breath in, breath out. Inhaling and exhaling. One more deep breath in. Look between your hands. Right foot lunges forward. Left foot lunges forward. Fold out. 
Inhale, arms up, look up, hands to your heart, Tadasana. Sarah Namaskara B, Sun Salutation B. Sit in your chair, Bukatasana. Good. Fold forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift. Lunge your right leg back, left leg back, high plank. Either Chaturanga or come all the way down to your mat. Chaturanga, up dog, feel the stretches through your hip flexors. Down dog. Good. Spiral your left foot down, right foot lunges through. <clears throat> Ground down into the pinky toe edge of your left foot. Ground down to the big toe mound, pinky toe mound and heel mound of your right foot. Inhale, arms up, exhale. Breath in, breath out. So warrior one, you're feeling the stretch through that left hip flexor. One more deep breath in, hands down to the mat, right foot joins left, chaturanga, up dog, hip flexors. Down dog. Left foot lunges forward, right foot spirals down. Inhale to warrior one. Good, this time you feel the stretch to that right hip flexor. Look up, fold right back down. Plank pose, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Good, pedal your feet right and left and right and left. Look in between your hands, right foot lunges forward, left foot, sit in your chair, Utkatasana, hands to your heart, mountain pose. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, right leg lunges back. Left leg lunges back, chaturanga, up dog. Good. Breath in, breath out. Send your breath to your hip flexors. Down dog. Good. Right leg lifts high to the sky. Bend your right knee. Make sure that left heel is pressing down to the mat and open up your hip. Let's take three hip circles in the direction towards your right hand. So here we go. Three, two, and one. Now let's take it the other way. Three, two, and one. Good. Bring your right foot forward. Left knee down, if you have blocks or books, grab onto them so your left foot, the top of your left foot is down. Arms up, good, no lunge. So you can leave your hands up here or you can bring them to your hips because in this pose we are stretching through our left hip flexor. Breath in, breath out. Feel the stretch, pressing your left hip flexor forward. Inhale, arms up. Good. Place your left hand down, right arm up. Bend your left knee, if you have room to work, maybe you grab that left foot. Look up. Good. Left leg back down. Arms up. Look up. Hands to your mat. Left knee lifts. Right foot joins left. 
Chaturanga. Up dog, feel the stretch through your hip flexors. Down dog. Good. Left leg lifts high to the sky. Bend your left knee and rotate that knee. Move that knee for two. One more, other way. Three, two, and one. Good, now lunge your left foot forward, right knee down, top of your right foot. Inhale, arms up, low lunge. You can bring your hands to your hips. Make sure you're pressing your right hip flexor forward. So working our hips, helps improve our circulation, flexibility, moving our hips, legs, and back, all connected. Good. Arms up, reach up. Right hand down, left arm up, look up. If you have room to work, grab your right foot, look up. Right knee down, left hand down, right knee lifts, plank pose. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Good, pedal your feet right and left and right and left. Good. Breath in, breath out. One more deep breath in. Right leg lifts high to the sky. Right knee to your right wrist. Left leg back. We're setting up for pigeon pose. Pigeon pose is a great stretch through your hips. Good. So I like to take a block or a bolster underneath my right hip. And inhale, maybe take a little lift, and then fold forward. If you like, you can place your head on the mat, or maybe a block. Whatever feels best for you in your body. Breath in, breath out. Inhaling and exhaling. One more deep breath in, walk your hands back, curl your left toes under, lift your left knee, send your right leg high to the sky. Good. Left leg. Lift your left leg high to the sky, left knee, left wrist, come down to pigeon on the left. So our hip is the largest joint in our body. Right foot down and fold forward. <clears throat> like I said, the hip is our largest, the hip joint is our largest joint in our body. So we definitely need to move it just for circulation purposes, flexibility, it helps with our back, our hamstrings, our quads. Good. Curl your right toes under and lift your left leg high to the sky. Good, and pedal at your feet right and left and right and left. Good. Now I'm going to take my hands a little bit closer to the middle of the mat. And I'll bring my right foot to the outside of my right hand, left foot to the outside of my left hand. You're coming into Malasana, Yogi Squat. Good. Breath in and breath out. One more deep breath in, and from here, let's rise all the way up. 
Good. Hands to your heart, toe, heel your feet together. Good. Lunge your right leg back, high lunge, and open up to goddess pose. Good. Bring your hands to your heart and bring your hands to your hips. Good. Bend your knees. Good. Arms up, reach up. Good. Now take your arms to um, field goal arm. Good. And here you are in goddess pose. Let's just come down and up. Three. Two and one. Let's take high lunge on our right foot. Look up. Hands to your heart. God's toes. Good. Let's come up and down. Two. Good. And one. Good. Left foot forward, right foot forward, hands to your heart. Let's come down to our mat. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, plank pose. And come all the way down to your belly. Good. Roll on to your back. And let's bring our, bend your left knee, right leg up, right foot crosses over left. Grab behind your left thigh or in front of your left shin, figure four. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. One more deep breath in. Cross your right knee over your left. Grab the outside edges of your pinky toes of your feet. Bring them in. Good. Take your arms out on a T. Bring your knees to the left. Look over your right. Breath in. Breath out. One more deep breath in. Arms back up. P flat. Left leg up, left leg over. Bring your right knee into your chest. Stretching through your left hip flexor. So our hip flexors are our second chakra. Our first chakra is our root chakra, our second chakra is our hip flexors, and our hip flexors hold a lot of emotion. They help with our creative expression and our emotions. So to stretch them and to release them is very beneficial for our overall well-being. Good. One more deep breath in. Bring your knees to your chest. Take your arms to the insides of your inner thighs. Grab the outside edges of your feet and just wrap right and left, and right, and left. Happy baby. Good. One more deep breath in. Bring your knees to your chest. And Shavasana. Take your legs forward, right leg splays to the right, left leg splays to the left, palms facing up. You can stay here as long as you like. Make sure you soak in your practice, breathing into your hip flexors, breath in, breath out. You can stay here or join me, bringing your knees to your chest, rolling onto your left side, pressing up with the right hand, and bringing your feet together and opening them up like a book. Bring your hands to your heart. 
Thank you for sharing your yoga journey with me. Namaste.